Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. In today's video, I am doing a product review for Art of the Roots. It's called um, King Solomon Oil. I love this oil. I like to use this oil when I do my readings or when I'm contemplating. I was trying to get a good picture here. Let me see, can I get this in focus? What is it? Maybe it's me. Yeah, King Solomon's oil. But child, let me tell you about King Solomon. Well, first of all, this is the oil for it. It's for you. I like to use it on my third eye. Like right here, child. And um, right here, right in the back of my neck. Well, oh, it smells so good, too. Well, King Solomon, I know a lot of people, I don't know if you're probably familiar with his story in the Bible. It's one of my favorite biblical stories because in the Bible, God told, you know, King Solomon, look, look, whatever you want, you know, I'll give it to you. I'll do whatever, it would. just just ask me. He was supposed to be one of the wealthiest, the wealthy, or maybe the wealthiest king that ever lived, whatever, you know, he's, and God said, I'll do whatever you want, just, just say the word. And King Solomon told God that he wanted wisdom and God said dude <laughs> he said I thought that you wanted me like to kill your enemies or you would ask for wealth or you would ask for longevity for your for your life or for your loved ones he said but you asked for wisdom and because you asked for wisdom I am going to give you everything that story is so bomb to me. Like he's saying, like, especially when I read the line where he said, I even, you know, I thought that you would have wanted me to, to, to kill your enemies. And I was willing to do anything you ask. But you asked for wisdom. And because you asked for wisdom, I am giving you everything. Guys, wisdom is, ooh, it is so, people take it for granted. Like people ask for money people ask for love i was trying to look for my little person oh here it is you know we have a wisdom area feng shui feng shui is basically how your, your each area in your home represents a different part of your life right so if you were to walk in your home and you were to you you would put this to your chest and if you were to look in at your what is this your left your left hand and you were to spread out the corner the left corner when you first walk into any room, that is your wisdom area. It's your wisdom, knowledge, and education area. So if you were to have this little person, remember, and you were to spread your left hand out in the corner, the immediate corner of your every room, that's your wisdom area. And that area is responsible for helping you make good decisions. So, you know, in terms of your relationships, in terms of your job, in terms of how you use your money. So even if you're asking for money, but if you don't have wisdom, then you won't be able to keep the money, child. And even if you're attracting love, but you're attracting crazy. You know what I'm saying? You're attracting people that it's not even resonating with you because your wisdom area is off. So if I could only get one oil, it would be this. But I, this is one of my favorite oils. Um, from the Art of the Root, it smells really, really good. Um, actually, I like to put it in all of my products because, I mean, shoot, y'all, who, want, who wants to be without wisdom, right? But anyway, if you can get one oil, I think, and you only, like, let's just say your account says whatever, it says you can only get one oil. King Solomon's oil. This oil, it smells good and I think there's something about being wise and making good decisions because I think being able to make good decisions is going to draw everything to you. This is an amazing oil. I love it. I like to do it. I like to use it especially for my readings. I like to put a little bit in most like my, my um, Vaseline. Uh, my lotion, you know, it's just one of my daily things. I like to put it under my wig, right here on my crown chakra, child. You know what I'm saying? But this is a really good oil, and um, they're, the oils are really aren't very expensive. I have a link for it in my description box if you're interested. But this is, to me, wisdom should come first. 
Well, I think wisdom helps us make really good decisions. The thing that I've learned most about wisdom is that there is a such thing as divine timing, which means that no matter how much magic I use or gemstones or oils or chanting or meditation, that there is a divine timing to everything in life, a time for us to you know, work on our goals, a time for us to set those goals aside and let something bigger than us take place. And there is a time for us to realize that those are not the goals that we need at this time to be in alignment with our divine plan. To me, I've learned that wisdom is learning when to shut up is learning when to mind your own business and to be quiet. And I think as a person who um, believes in manifestation and creating the life that you want, to understand that there is a force, a life force, a divine force, God, God is all there is, all that is, the universe. So there is something bigger than me that has a better plan, which some people call the divine sublime plan. I like to call it the um, my purpose and mission for this lifetime. So when you are using your gemstones and using your oils and burning your, your candles and you're doing all of this magical work to understand that there is a purpose and mission for your life that is bigger than you can even imagine and to allow that life force to come into your life and and <laughs> and take over and and create things that you you never imagined creating that is wisdom i love wisdom because there have been so many times when i have wanted to act and i have wanted to do it my way or i want it now but wisdom more than more than not has said sit back be quiet relax and let the universe bring to you everything that you ever imagine and more wisdom is believing in divine timing and not losing faith in yourself and your dreams anyway thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you darling in the next video